Hey, everybody. I'm joined right now by the Good Brothers, Doc Gallows and Carl Anderson. Uh, Rebellion pay-per-view is coming up Saturday, April 23rd. Uh, one of the teams that's going to be in the mix for the tag team titles uh, right now, Violent by Design has them. We'll see how it shakes out uh, in Poughkeepsie. First and foremost, how are you guys doing today? Good, Bill. Thanks for having us. Yeah, we're good, man. Thanks for having us. Um, you know, Impact's been on fire lately. I think it's just, um, you know, I, I want people to hear about it, see it, and, um, you know, come watch us. There's plenty of attention on the company right now, especially coming out of WrestleCon in Dallas, multiverse of matches. Uh, you guys have been busy. You're coming off of a big match with the Briscoes. How are you feeling going into Rebellion? Because obviously you're the challengers going in, but you've held the titles for a good amount of time since you've been in the company, even though this match is, you know, an eight team elimination challenge match. It really feels like you're a favorite going against violent by design. So how are you feeling going into the match? We're always overconfident, Bill. I think we're overconfident again here today. Uh, as always, we've been the champions so long during our impact wrestling uh, run, if you will, that I think if you're not, uh, you know, privy to what's going on people still think we are the champions violent by design is a great team it's a great act uh it's a great stable but we're the best at being a great stable and no matter how many teams are at rebellion no matter who gets thrown in the mix uh the good brothers are going to use that same old recipe magic killer one two three just too sweet and some gold around our waists you know there was uh this this is this is a, a shoot uh, this is very true there was a standing ovation when we um lost the championships we lost the tag team titles in the locker room and it wasn't because the match was good it was good but it wasn't because of that it was because the the the, the, the people in the locker room were happy we lost the titles <laughs> yeah no it was, it was it was real heat so so like and, and hey so yes we're always overconfident and and even when we lose we know we know we're, gonna, we're back in the mix we're in the mix we've always been in the mix we're always going to be in the mix and you know people don't like it and we don't care Hey, I like I like the attitude. It's confidence. I don't really take it as cocky. Uh, in you know, two title reigns, it's three hundred and fifty days over the course of both of those. So, you, you know, you're going in with the stats, the confidence into the match, and again, nothing against Violent by Design, but you you point it, made a good point. Uh, if you're not paying attention every week, maybe some people still think you are the champs. So. I think that says more about them having to, you know, do something to stand out more. So that's an that's an interesting dynamic to go into at Rebellion. Yeah, it's not taking anything away from them. Eric Young's on a European tour right now. Uh, Big Joe Doring had a hell of a run in Japan. Cody Deaner, one of the most underrated uh, pro wrestlers in the company or the industry, I think, but. You know, we walked through LaGuardia yesterday, and people were still screaming good brothers and throwing it up. So, I mean, we're as hot as we've ever been, and we're going to keep that train moving. So I'm glad you agree with that, Brother Bill. Absolutely. They've been they've yeah. been smart. Yeah. They've been smart uh, both ways that they've won the titles, not just beating you guys, but the first title reign they had together. Uh, it was won by using the Call Your Shot uh, gauntlet. So, yep. you know. They, they've been smart they're they're not you know they're not getting lucky here no and that's that's another point that i think is crucial to make about the current product of impact rest you haven't been out to see it live if you haven't seen a live impact on access tv taping like you, you really do never know what you're going to get i mean from the surprise arrival of, of honor no more to the the multiverse of matches to the influx of New Japan, AEW, NWA. I mean, we have talent from all the way across the board, and I think Impact has, has maybe done the best job out of all the companies about this interpromotional interaction. The, the kind of, uh, you know, we at Impact got started, you know, about two years ago. So you, you never know what you're going to see on these shows, and, and of course, you're going to see the Good Brothers. And the reincarnation, the best form of the Bullet Club that it's ever been, which is only going to get hotter. Let's stay on that point right there. You said you never know who's going to show up, what's going to happen. Uh, when we last spoke, you said the inspiration was a big boost to Impact and the women's tag team division. 
Is there anybody else totally. you kind of, whether it's walking through that uh, forbidden door or if it's somebody on the roster, is there anybody that you have your eye on that, uh, you know, maybe fa- will surprise fans this this week at Rebellion or in the near future, somebody that you really think is going to, you know, right at that level of breaking out? I, I think the door is open, and I think that, uh, you know, the call your shot gauntlet was a great name for it because anybody can walk in and call their shot and get put on the map in this company right now. We've seen it happen over the last few months, as you see. So, um, I think there's a lot of great new talent, up-and-comers on that roster, but I also think and believe and know that with, with the surprises in store that uh, I think people are going to be pretty happy, um, you know, in a week and a half when we roll into Poughkeepsie for the TV tapings. You know, I think this is a this is a great time for, you know, I think Josh Alexander is going to be the next big star. This is a great time for him to show people. Um, I think he has a lot to prove, and I think he's, you know, going to prove it. But, you know, he still has to prove it to the people to, to, earn, to earn their, you know, to earn their, you know, their trust as a, as a top star. Mm-hmm. Um, but I think he's going to do it. I think this is a really cool time to watch somebody grow into a big star. And, you know, will he or will he not is kind of the, you know, the cool question. And I, I think he will, but it's, this is an yeah. awesome time to watch. Poughkeepsie is home to the mid Hudson civic center. It's been renamed, but that's uh, you know, it has its own history in professional wrestling. Uh, so normally I would ask if you guys have any, fond memories of the building but uh if i have this correct carl you've never wrestled there and gallows you haven't uh wrestled there in nine years the last event was a house of hardcore event so i guess i would ask what are you looking most forward to whether it's individually or you know sharing that moment together and just being in such a revered building well we were talking the way up here we were driving up from the city and we were talking about the the upstate New York, the, the rich history of professional wrestling. And I have a lot of good memories in that building. And it's interesting that Carl and I have never tagged there because, I mean, you know, we say it all the time, but it's the truth. We, you know, every continent that has pro wrestling, we've been in some of the biggest building arenas, venues, if you will, that there are. Uh, and this is one we have it. So I think mm-hmm. it's one more chance to, uh, to make some history. And, you know, I, I've been with a lot of people over the years, but, but to do it with my brother, that, that that's an honor that's always cool and uh i think it's time to win those tag team titles back in the mid hudson coliseum hey thanks for reminding me bill because uh on the ride up here i was looking around saying hey i recognize this i recognize that i guess i've never been here <laughs> <laughs> i thought i had there's a lot i of- think you have the- but i don't know <laughs> i think you're lying bill i i'm going on no, so- i think uh I'm going off of cage match. They're usually re- reliable, so I yeah. No, I I will say I, that I, I know that I recognize the uh, the city, but I guess you know I, I know that we've been to Albany and uh, um, White Plains. Sounds right, but I guess maybe this is the first time being here, which is uh, it's interesting. So yeah, this this is cool. It's just another building for us to 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 put on our you know on our on our hats. Yeah. Yeah, I, I mean, there may have been an event or two that maybe slipped through the cracks, but usually this is pretty accurate. But uh, if it is, one other thing I thought was interesting as far as uh, Gallows, your history there, I don't think you've used the same name twice uh, in the matches that I've had. So you, you your first match, if it's correct, is Festus. Uh, you went as okay. Luke, Luke Gallows. Then the next time was a tag match when you were just Doc in the Aces and Eights. And then the House of Hardcore show was big yeah, XLG. Tommy, Tommy <laughs> LXG for some God forbidden reason, but uh, at least I was on the show. But hey, I own Doc Gallows now, so hopefully from here on out, I'll be that in the Mid Hudson Coliseum. <laughs> you will be able to return yeah. with the same name. <laughs> Maybe we'll see what happens next. There you go. <laughs> Uh, so I, I mentioned you guys are busy, uh, the match with the Briscoes, you're doing a lot with the gimmicks, uh, crypto curious NFTs, which I thought was really cool. Uh, one of the other things you guys have been known for over the past, uh, few years is the badass movie marathons that, uh, come as part of, uh, access coverage. I wanted to have a little fun and name a couple movies and get your uh, thoughts, whether they're badass or not. If that's okay. Well, that would be. We've been uh, 
we've been in some uh, arguments with our <laughs> with our respective boss over the movie choices. The last two have been great, but mm-hmm. it took a second to get there. Okay. <laughs> All right. Yeah, let's go. Uh, Southpaw, the boxing movie with Jake Gyllenhaal. Jesus, uh, <laughs> never seen it. <sighs> Yeah, I, mean, I you know what? I'd love I'd love to set. And I I thought you were talking about Southpaw Regional Wrestling for a second. I didn't see no, that. I so that. <laughs> Yeah. Clearly and and we and we didn't like that either because that was, you know, made by them. We thought it sucked. So Yeah, they they, they took our idea <laughs> shit on it. Weird. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, they, they they brought in a bunch of famous guys that weren't funny and fucked it all up. So. Weird. Yeah. Uh <laughs> All right, John Wick. That's a good movie. Okay. No, I never, never saw it. Uh, I like John Wick. I'm badass. Yeah, I like him. All right. How about Nobody? Bob Odenkirk's in it. What is it? Nobody? Bob Odenkirk's in it? Man. No. Brother, you, you so, got to remember, we've spent too much time on the road the last 20 years. We don't, we don't know. Okay. <laughs> so we also have, we have issues with, we have issues with, like, a lot of people can sit down and watch Netflix, right? Yeah, and like, or we'll sit down and watch movies. Like, we can't, we can't watch five minutes of a movie without no ch- ch- channeling off. So I almost just I can't sense. on my Netflix because I can't watch it. <laughs> <laughs> can't watch anything anymore. All right. Well. <laughs> all right. So oh, we we don't get time to watch anything. So that uh, <laughs> that bombed. <laughs> <laughs> no, we, we we do, but like, and we probably we watch some of those old school movies. But we we do have issues with like when I get on the when I get on the plane, bro. I watch like I'll sit and watch horrible bosses every single time I get on the plane because I know it's funny and I fall and like that's the only thing I can watch. It's just our ADHD is too much now. I, I will say this: my wife told me that my son had been watching Outer Banks, so I said, "Let me watch this and figure out what it is." And I went, "He cannot fucking watch this." <laughs> Drinking, there's drug use. I was like, is he, is he peering into my bedroom whenever I'm supposed to be asleep? What's going on, <laughs> probably. Yeah, oh, boy. <laughs> All right, yeah that that should come with a disclaimer. Then I I've heard some things about that show. We lose Bill. Nope, hey. I'm there. You there? Did we lose Ross? Well, no, I'm here. Ross is here. Your best man. Bill, you there? Yeah, I'm here. Can you hear me? Oh yeah. Okay. Yeah, uh, I said uh, Outer Banks should come with a disclaimer. I've seen, I've heard some things about that, and it's you know, yeah, not was, something uh, that man. you should be finding when you're a young kid. No, good stuff to watch if we get the chance. A uh, lot of good, uh, good action coming up uh, in Poughkeepsie. Maybe some, maybe some first time uh, experiences depending on what the records say. Uh, but uh, anything else you guys looking forward to about this weekend coming up? I know it's, you know, kind of a general question, but uh, it, it's a big weekend for impact really to stand on its own. Uh, you know, the wrestling world's kind of all been running at the same time, but this feels like uh, the first time impacts had its own weekend in a long time. Anything, you know, you, you really want to plug before the show. I just think come out and see us live. And it it is exciting for us to be, we love this Northeast market. There are great fans here. There are great wrestling fans here. We've already touched on that in the interview, but for us to come here and be 80 miles North of the city, uh, that New York city audience has a chance to see impact live. If they haven't ever haven't in a while, you don't want to miss this. There's nothing like seeing it live. It's an, awesome interactive fan experience i know the staff at impact including our good brother ross who's hanging in here on the call they do a lot of stuff uh to make it interactive and and a great time and you're going to see some of the best professional wrestling from all over the world so don't sleep on impact wrestling come see us live this coming weekend in poughkeepsie two nights hashtag impact on access tv yeah i mean he, he said it perfectly i think you know uh, WWE gets a lot of run, of course, and the AEW gets a lot of run because they're on, you know, such big television markets. But you know, if if people can just, you know, take a second to find Access TV or find, you know, where we're at on pay per view and understand that Impact Wrestling is here and like we're, you know, putting on great shows every week. And I mean, I'm I'm proud of it. I'm proud of Impact, and you know, come out and see us and see what we're doing. Yeah. Access TV, uh, another way if anybody wants to catch up 
the Impact Insiders uh, premium subscription mm-hmm. service. So I I love the show. I've been saying probably beating a dead horse at this point, but Impact is the most consistent week to week show I think, and it's been that way for months, if not the past couple years. So. Uh, Impact Rebellion, check them out on pay-per-view and then the taping if you're in the area the, the following day. Uh, best of luck uh, next weekend, and uh, we'll talk soon. Thanks for your time, guys. Appreciate Thanks you. a lot, man.